To Rebelpreneur Radio, helping you break the rules and build the business you need for the life you want. And now, broadcasting his pirate signal from somewhere beyond the status quo. Here's your host, best selling author, marketing and media strategist, Ralph Brogdon. Hello and welcome to Rebelpreneur Radio. It's the show that helps you build the business you need so you can live the life you want. I'm Ralph Brogdon. I've said many times that it is an exciting time to be alive, and we are part of a generation that is able to accomplish things with technology and with the internet and social media and networking opportunities. We can go global with our vision and with our business in a way that other generations before us could not, or at least couldn't do it as quickly and as effectively as we can. Uh, So on the cutting edge of entrepreneurship for this generation, I'm pleased to welcome Justin Laffison to the program. He is an entrepreneur, a speaker, a best-selling author on a mission to empower the next generation of global leaders. He is currently the co-founder of NextGen, an award-winning business hub. Justin, welcome to Rebelpreneur Radio. Ralph, I really appreciate you having me on. Hello to everybody. Looking forward to a great conversation. I'm really interested in finding out more about your story. What got you involved in entrepreneurship to begin with? Ralph, I loved what you said there in your introduction that people think of building their business in order to have the life that they want to live. When I was getting started thinking about entrepreneurship, I viewed it as a vehicle to help me design the most exciting, fulfilling, impactful, rewarding life that I could possibly think of. I think it's one of the only career paths where uh, the equity you earn and can attach to allows you to be properly rewarded for uh, commensurate effort. So I was really into this idea of life design. I started meeting other entrepreneurs who were telling me the same thing. Hey, I'm really interested in connecting with other like-minded leaders, and all of us could use some freaking help. On our businesses, <laughs> uh, moving it, you know, to the next level and 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 getting started. So we started to build a hub that would support that that generation of leaders with the resources, the education, the mentorship, all these things that they need to take their businesses and their lives to the next level. That really sounds exciting. And what I I find fascinating about this is you're working with the next generation, and so uh, that judging by the content on your website, it's geared towards younger entrepreneurs, not um, not the old guys like me, but the younger ones, the up and coming generation, the young and emerging generation of entrepreneurs and leaders. What are some of the unique challenges, do you think, facing Mm. younger entrepreneurs that maybe is unique and different to this particular time that we're living in? Yeah, it's definitely um, in 2020, one of the most exciting times to start a business. But as a young person, the key pitfall is you don't know what you don't know. I also think that's probably true for uh, every age, but particularly when you're young, you've had limited career experiences, limited entrepreneurial experiences. You don't know what you don't know. So it's hard to even think about um, how do I get the mentorship? How do I get the resources? If you don't have a guide pointing you in that direction. Uh, so many um, young people that I am working with now really revel and enjoy the process of working with senior executives, industry leaders who have a little bit more of that gray hair and uh, can help us work through developing the mindset and developing the mental operating frameworks for how do you build a business? How do you build a team? How do you build a culture? How do you make money? Uh, so it is understanding the pa- which path I want to go on before actually doing the work, having an understanding of how do I take my first step? How do I get started? I really love the synergy that I'm hearing because it, it comes with the recognition, uh, recognition as a younger person. You don't know what you don't know. And actually, mm-hmm. that's true of um, older people as well. A lot of the people that I talk to, they don't know what they don't know. Uh, but the, the difference is. Uh, the older generation of entrepreneurs and business leaders, they have the experience, but not necessarily the up to the minute cutting edge know-how of internet, social media, mobile technologies, 
uh, different things that young people do know about. So I'm talking about yes. a generational gap, but you're saying they, they can partner together and through this synergy can really take things to a, to a completely different level if they are willing to listen and learn from one another. Ralph, absolutely. One of the most uh, promising uh, venues that we have at all of our conferences is an office hours setup where mentors who are currently in industry, leading businesses, investing in businesses will sit for a few hours at a time and welcome one-on-one -on -one questions in, in various topic areas. Think manufacturing, branding, growing a sales team. And the collaboration, we start to see partnerships form. We've seen some co-founder relationships form. That intergenerational relationship can be really powerful. And we're constantly encouraging young people to reach out acknowledge that you have a lot to learn. And the best thing for you is to be absolute sponge, ask for a lot of advice and continue to move forward. Very, very good advice. Uh, the website is uh, ngsummit.com and that is next generation. The tagline on your website is we empower the world's greatest entrepreneurs to overcome obstacles and chase their dreams. I always like to ask guests, what's the biggest problem you see in terms of overcoming obstacles? What are the greatest challenges for young entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in, in this particular emerging generation? What's the biggest thing that they've got to look at and overcome? Ralph, something that we are constantly playing around with uh, solutions to solve is the terrible loneliness that a lot of entrepreneurs are going through. When you're trying to build a business, you are getting hit left and right with problems and stress and, and these dilemmas. And of course, you're on uh, such a grateful, blessed, amazing journey. But uh, you don't have a necessarily a peer network you can chat about that with. Uh, thanks to social media, thanks to the internet, uh, it's given birth to opportunities like NextGen to form, where people can connect with those like-minded peers and get that uh, synergy, get that collaboration, really get the inspiration to keep your fire going. But if you don't have access to a community, a peer network of, of like-minded individuals, it can, you can get in your own head. And it can get really, really lonely and really difficult to realize that it's a long game and to key to business is to stay in business and to keep uh, keep moving along. And if you don't have the right inputs, the right relationships, the right people in your ear, uh, it can be quite uh, quite an um, emotional challenge. I think that is that is true, uh, and um, and that certainly applies to people of all ages. We all need to feel like that we are connected and connected with other people who are like minded and who are traveling in a, a similar journey. Even though the entrepreneurial journey is. Uh, by by definition, someone who's going to take more of an independent path, a pioneer path, it doesn't mean that you have to be in business by yourself just because you're in business for yourself. Mm. That's a really great uh, a great distinction. And, and people get so stuck in their own ways sometimes, Ralph. You don't have to necessarily live in the big entrepreneurial hubs to start forming a local community of fellow business leaders, fellow like-minded thinkers, authors, politicians, creators, uh, and realizing that I, I really love that framework. You can be in business for yourself, work on your own journey, but this has to be a shared mission between like-minded peers. I love that. So you've you've got the peer support in place, but you've also got the the mentors. Uh, so it's important to have the peer support of people who are right where you are, but always have people that are up one or two or three levels above where you are, where you're trying to get to. And that that horizontal and the vertical support uh, can really create some some powerful momentum in a business. Momentum is what it is all about. As a business owner, once you start getting the, the wheels turning, getting the ball rolling, new opportunities can birth themselves. The more clients you serve, the more clients you have a chance to um, engage, exceed their expectations, get new referrals. Uh, the, the Every day that you're in business is an opportunity to continue to exponentially expand the karma, the energy, the, the goodwill you're putting out into the world. But it's just how do we get that push cart moving in the right direction, that momentum. And that is what NextGen is all about, trying to energize those entrepreneurs to give them the momentum they need to overcome those obstacles. Yeah, getting off the launch pad is what takes 95% of the fuel. But once you attain orbit, very little fuel is needed because you are carried along by that momentum. So very important in business as well as in life. Um, so when you have someone... Let's say someone that's listening right now, regardless of how old they are, but let's say they're a young entrepreneur, they're just getting started, 
and they join your next gen business hub, what are some of the first things that you want to get across to them in terms of helping them get started on the right path and to stay motivated in their entrepreneurial journey? Ralph, mindset is critical when you are starting a business and we try really, really hard in all of our materials and all of our onboarding processes. When you join our community, access any of our resources, you're part of the Next Gen HQ family that um, you commit to understanding the world is not a zero sum game and you can win and others can win too. And if you don't accept that mentality, frankly, you're not welcome into our audience and we're not looking to have you as a client or or an entrepreneur in our community. We ask you to commit to the mindset that if I learn from others, if I offer value to others, if I help out where I can, uh, I might not get a direct referral back, but I will continue to advance my journey. I will be more energized. I'll be smarter. I'll be wiser. And I can push a little bit further forward. So right away when entrepreneurs enter the next gen community, we let them know Here's what we view the world, that you should be supporting others. The first thing you should ask is, how can I help? And how can I be of support and of service to the mission you are working on? And if we can all agree on that mindset, we think together we can go way further supporting each other. I really love that mindset. It reminds me of Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. The win-win instead of the win-lose, win-lose is for me to win in business, it means somebody else has to lose. I have to beat somebody else. And this whole win-win mindset and the synergy that we're talking about, uh, it's a very different paradigm. And, you know, congratulations for seeing that and teaching that to other people so that together we can achieve more without uh, wasting so much energy, time, effort, and money in competition when our competition can actually be our greatest ally if we understand this principle that you're talking about of adding value and going for the win-win mindset. Ralph, it's about having that long-term mindset for us thinking about how can I come to work every single day and be 1% better, just 1% better. And at a compounding effect, at the end of the year, if you get 1% better each day, you're not 360 um, you know, percent, you're not three times as good. You're actually 37 times as good. It's a mind blowing mm. when you do out the math. All you have to do is get 1% better each day and stay in business. You don't have to, you know, build room overnight. You just have to keep going, keep your head down, keep working, keep working, keep working, playing for the long game, not that zero sum. How can I win this quarter? Yeah. And so often that short sighted approach causes people to give up too soon. It causes them to prejudge prospects and business opportunities. And that's why, frankly, people who play the long game, who look at things strategically, they end up winning in the long run uh, because of that very mindset. And things begin to happen, it seems, uh, more frequently for people who take that attitude that we're going to add value before we try to ask for value. We're going to see what we can give, not we, not what we can receive. And there's lots of different ways to add value, isn't there? Absolutely. So many times young people particularly are thinking, how do I add value to this new mentor, this new investor that I just met? I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I haven't been in business as long. I have no money. Uh, but there's so many ways you can add value. Uh, reading an article that you think would be supportive to this person, sending it along their way, looking at their website and offering improvement. If you're a young person offering technological support, social media support in any way. There are so many ways to add value as a young person, even if you don't have the business experience. And I tell you, the the greatest thing I think that that younger entrepreneurs can bring is energy and enthusiasm. You certainly bring that. You carry that in in your your uh, the inflection of your voice and your passion for this. And so I think your organization is really, really powerful. And I look forward to seeing what you'll be accomplishing in the future. What are you working on right now, Justin, that's got you really excited? I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We are building uh, constantly different resources that entrepreneurs can use to level up in their lives and in their businesses. We are launching a new event series coming um, 
in 2020. That's going to be in just about every major city across the country where entrepreneurs for free can access the investors in the local community that they need to pitch their business and gain that seed funding that's so critical and so elusive sometimes. So folks can check it out on our website, uh, but a new event series that um, entrepreneurs can access that seed capital is going to be particularly exciting as we head into the next step. Absolutely. How can our listeners reach out to you, Justin? We are switching over to a new website, ngsummit.com, still works as of now, nextgenhq.com, our new website where folks can access for free weekly resources, opportunities, um, and all of the uh, assets that we are building to help entrepreneurs level up. On there, you can get in touch with me via email, via LinkedIn, as well, nextgenhq.com. Very exciting. So if you're listening to this episode and you are in an entrepreneurial space where you're feeling that isolation, you're feeling the loneliness, or and or you realize that you need to have a better mindset. You want to develop the win-win mindset. You want to have peer support as well as learning how to learn how to give and receive support from mentors, how to add value to others. So many uh, critical things to your success. You can tap into all of those things and get plugged in at ngsummit.com or nextgenhq.com. And uh, Justin, I really appreciate you being on the show today and, and sharing all that you're doing. Any final thoughts or words of wisdom that you'd like to leave our listeners with? Ralph, I had a blast being with you here today. Thank you so much for inviting me. The biggest advice is to just get started. Just get going. You're going to be way wiser tomorrow for having uh, gotten started today. Even if you flop, even if you mess up. Just that momentum of getting the wheels turning will continue to propel you forward. I hope to get in touch with many of you who are listening to this online. Looking forward to hopefully supporting your journey. Ralph, thank you so much for having me on. Absolutely. Justin Laffison is an entrepreneur, a speaker, a best-selling author, and he's on a mission to empower the next generation of global leaders. He is the co-founder of NextGen, an award-winning business hub. You can find out more at Next genhq.com and we'll have that link on the rebelpreneur website as well. Justin, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Ralph. You've been listening to Rebelpreneur Radio with Ralph Brogdon. Download the show notes and much more at rebelpreneur.com.